Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Faux Real. Coming in with my first pickup from firekicks.cn. Yeah, got the big old haul. Now, I recommend you do over $200 worth of product because they will ship it to you DHL, and that's the fastest shipping you can get. All right, well, let's jump right into the review. Let's see. I got all this shit for Christmas for people it didn't come here on time but that's my bad that's not their bad let's see i got this goofy ass thrashers ghostbusters hat mainly because i thought it was ridiculous i thought my boy would like that yeah it's just on point though nothing wrong with the hat itself structurally it's on point everything's gucci yeah next we got this iphone hat also bought this thing because I thought it was a little bit off the wall. Thought one of my boys would like this. Think it's pretty funny. You got the little, the little silver chrome stitching. Let's see if I can get a little, little focus on that. Oh, got the, of course we got the Apple logo. I bought myself this Gucci hat. Um, I purchased this because this little top button was leather on the website. And it looked pretty much on point from what you actually get from Gucci. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed to see that they shipped it to me with the Gucci fabric on top on the button. Kind of kind of fool looking. Plus, uh, yeah, the G's aren't really lining up. It's whatever though, I'll give it to somebody else. No, not tripping. Next we got this uh, Star Wars Boba Fett 5950 snapback. And these is on point, honestly. These new eras are the shit. So we got the inside looking, looking on point. We got the tag. Focus on that. Yeah, looking all right, right? Pretty cool little Boba Fett hat from my pops. So we got a little Colorado Rockies hat again. The new eras are on point. They're like six bucks, so I mean, run up that free shipping on hats. That's basically what I did. Black and gold, looking on point. The thing that I found funny about this is it says it has the 940 sticker, right? And you open this shit up, and it got the the 950, which is whatever. I'm just gonna give it to my boy. He's gonna get a little little crack out of that. He's gonna think that shit's funny. Got this. Uh, Toon Squad hat, Space Jam. All right, we got the starter black label. Not a not a starter embroidery logo on the back, but whatever, that's cool. That's all right. We got the the starter on the on the inside. It's on point. Tags a little funky. Whatever though. We got this Supreme hat. This looks all right on the outside. You know, honestly, I've seen the real one. Now, now this, damn, son. Very foo, very foo, whatever. You know, put it on your head, don't take it off. Don't play with people. See, so I got the Anaheim Mighty Ducks jersey and a 56 or a three extra large. Now, I bought the three extra large thinking from watching all the other reviews and whatnot, they said the jerseys on the website were pretty uh, true to size. And I don't know, man, like, hockey jerseys are usually pretty big. So if you're getting a 3X in a, in a hockey jersey, expect that to be large as fuck. And this one, it's more like a 2X or an XL, but definitely not a 3X. But it, other than that, the patches, super on point, super high quality. We got the CCM tag, got the CCM on the back. Now we got these Dior shades. I picked these up for my lady. Um, basically, if you go to Sunglasses Hut to purchase sunglasses for regular price, designer, you're a fucking idiot. 
because uh, I don't know, man. These is on point for sure. Just got the little. I don't know if you can see that there glistening. Just gonna get the Dior. Yeah. Yeah, came in this nice box. You know what I'm saying? Get the Dior. Got a little silk bag for it. It's on point. Super on point for 40, 40 bucks or whatever. Yeah, hit your girl up, Lillian. She hook you up with the fire sunglasses. This Louis Vuitton wallet. It's all right. It's really not not bad. The print on it is on point. Everything's crispy. The inside of the wallet, I don't know. It looks a little foo, but I'm not about to. Not about to get bummed out about that. I think this um, this zipper thing here was different on the website from what they actually sent me. But again, whatever. I mean, it was 16 bucks, so you really can't complain. Um, the most on point thing out of this whole package, really, I think, is this Gucci polo with the snake and the bee. I got an extra large. It fits like a. Maybe like a medium or a large. I don't know, I'm kind of a little dude, so it don't really matter. Let's see, we got the, the on point Gucci tag right there with the two stitchings. The only thing that's not on point about this thing is it doesn't say the size on the tag. It says it on this foo ass China one, but um, yeah, fuck it, whatever. If somebody tries to come up and test your Gucci, uh, yeah, don't let that happen. You'll be good. And this is, uh, I got this for myself, which ultimately I think I'm, I'm the most bummed out of anything in this entire order on this belt, right? Because I spent hours, you feel me? Like if you've, if you've ever been on fire kicks, you know that they got about 10,000 Gucci belts and only about three of them look like the real thing that they got for sale on Gucci or Neiman Marcus or your Saks Fifth or wherever the fuck. So anyways, I, I fucking, I looked for hours and hours and hours to try to just like compare and contrast, compare and contrast. I like, I wanted to get the one that had the rounded end, right? With the regular brown and gold Gucci shit with this being brown. And I don't know if you can see it, but it came, it came black. This shit already fucking fell off. Um, yeah, it came black. It's supposed to be brown, and the end of this belt is supposed to be round, not square, like that. And the back of the belt, I got this brown leather, right? And it was supposed to be a little bit more of a tan, a cream. But other than that, I mean, it's a, it's a really nice quality belt, heavy ass buckle, for sure. Um, don't play yourself with the with the ten dollar Gucci belt, the twenty dollar Gucci belt. Like you should probably spend for at least forty bucks. Like get the the super max perfect or the whatever the fuck the good one. Because uh, I don't know. I see a lot of these people doing these fire kicks reviews with these fucking Gucci belts that got the stud in them and shit. And you guys are looking fucking foo. It's a little ridiculous. So yeah, don't play yourself. Get get the more expensive one. But just know like if you're they might fucking send you something else that you didn't want. But whatever, you know, anybody wants to try to fucking validate, you know, verify my, my fucking, if my belt is real, I'm gonna fucking, you know, I'm gonna punch him in the fucking face. So yeah, man, firekickscn.cn or hotkicks.cn, same website. Uh, yeah, man, good customer service. They took me you know, through the whole process real good. Every time I messaged them on Skype, they got back to me pretty quick. Email was a little bit slower, but still got back to me every time I emailed. Um, yeah, man. Get yourself some, some shit for cheap. Don't play yourself. Bo Real out with a PH, bitch. <laughs>